Hey folks, Coach Jeff from Team PRS Fit. Recently someone said to me, Coach, why am I not training more in Zone 3 during my marathon training? And the answer to that is this. When you train in Zone 3, Zone 3 is essentially your marathon race pace effort. Most people will run a marathon in the Zone 3 area from the low Zone 3 to the upper Zone 3 throughout the race and probably get into the low Zone 4s as they make those big pushes to the end. So if you're out there training every day in zone three, essentially what you're doing is running a race every day. This affects recovery and it also doesn't allow the body to become more cardiovascularly efficient. It doesn't allow the body to become stronger and essentially it doesn't allow you to get faster. All you're doing is teaching your body to run at the same effort level and the same pace all the time. That's why so many people who train at race pace on a continual basis never see improvement race to race to race. So essentially what you want to do is teach your heart how to beat slower and being more efficient at providing your working muscles with blood and oxygen. Let's take these water bottles and use them as an example. If this is, the, if this is my heart and this is the blood coming through my body and my heart working to get the blood through the body and if I'm in zone three, this is a kind of effort that I'm looking at all through the race. Okay, it's taking, it's working this many beats, this hard, and you can tell that even my arm is starting to get a little fatigued pumping the water through my body like this. So, however, if I can teach my body, and I'll switch the caps on the bottle, if I can teach my body and my heart how to provide the same amount of blood and oxygen to my working muscles at that same effort level, I get more efficient, I get stronger, longer, and it looks a little bit like this. So you can see I'm displacing the same amount of blood and oxygen to the working muscles, but with a lot less beats. And zone two is how you teach your body how to slow down. It's how you teach the heart how to be more efficient. And what happens if I were to use my personal parameters the middle of my zone two is about 152 to 154 beats a minute. So if I go out and I train at that 152 to 154 beats a minute, on day one, I may be running, oh, let's just use an example, an eight minute mile. So in an hour, I'll cover, you know, a little less than six miles. But as I get more efficient, my heart actually starts to slow down. It actually starts to pump more blood and oxygen through the, through the body with less beats. So I have to run faster to generate that 152 and to 154 beats a minute, which means that my pace increases. So in that same hour, maybe six weeks down the road, instead of covering just less than six miles, I may be covering in the neighborhood of seven, seven and a half miles with the exact same physical exertion level. So that's why you want to teach your body how to run slower. That's the benefit of running in zone two that you don't get in zone three. You become faster, longer, and stronger with less effort. This is a coach. If you have any questions, please feel free to shoot them to me, prsfit at gmail.com. Subscribe to our YouTube channel here. As always, be healthy, train smart, and have fun.